I have seen one female keep six or seven males pregnant, which is pretty amazing. We were the first people to close the life cycle on the seahorse and breed the animal in captivity. We were the first seahorse farm in the world. I remember as a kid, one of my jobs was to pick up the dead fish and bury them in a hole. We met in uh, Ecuador in 1988. I was on a round the world trip, uh, but I only got halfway. I had this dream one night, and it was a seahorse. I was riding a seahorse through the water in a wave. It was uh, very hard going in the early days, but it was a matter of uh, conviction. In Hawaii, you can legally still collect a seahorse with a $15 permit. I'm sure you've heard the term reef raper. The trade as it's practiced in Kona has always been uh, a land rush. It's a free-for-all. It's a land grab. I think the aquarium industry helps promote tourism here in Hawaii and actually is a good thing. These guys have gotten away with murder. The people who are taking the fish have money to lobby. My customers are ready tomorrow to buy tank raised fish. It's sad to see what's happening because of the overfishing that's taking place you know, globally. Where I like to start, uh, besides my own backyard, uh, is Tonga. When I was a child and we used to go back, you used to just walk on the reef and you could see all the clam. Everyone just harvested everything. A gallon of gas is your day's wage almost. So what they're doing is fishing the reef directly in front of their village. It looks like a bomb went off. It's outsiders, foreigners that are coming in and seeing the resource. Sometimes they get angry, but every day they need money for their family. For the Tonganese people, it's it's beneficial to them because ecotourism is on the rise. There's many species of fish where the one that you see in the in the pet store is the one that's made. I feel that we're making a difference um, and the reason I say that is because we have already changed the way the pet trade looks at farmed raised fish versus wild caught. They know now that you don't have to take fish out of the ocean. Doesn't mean it's stopped but they know it's coming. They know they can't keep taking fish off the reefs around the world. It's just gotta stop. 